I think it's confusing for a lot of people how I can have such a positive opinion about the Chinese military when I also have um, had a scary relationship with them. Um, well, you have to think of it, think of it this way. All right, so there are 1.5 billion people in China, and they have a society where everyone competes. Like everyone works super hard, and they compete academically. So um, they try to find the smartest people in their society, and then they get them to join the military pretty much so um, a lot of the time the smartest people are in the military and um, if you are looking at the Chinese society as a whole and you're like wow I have admiration for that society um, why do you have admiration for that society a lot of the time it's because of the smartest people in that society and um, it's not very difficult to figure out um, if you know that like the government is so central in China like in the United States you want to work for Google someday in China you want to um, I mean I guess you is, is it do you want to join the military I don't know maybe you want to be a spy um, or maybe you want to be whatever you want to be successful so a lot of the time that's working for the government the girl I spent a lot of time with in San Antonio her dad was a judge so um, I, I feel like a huge percentage of people work for the government so you can say I, I don't agree with you because of the way the Uyghurs are treated and um, I don't agree with you guys having such a huge problem with the Dalai Lama but I also understand the Dalai Lama has a problem with you um, and but like I don't know I, I get distracted and that's why I shouldn't make long videos it's a lot easier to have a conversation with someone than to make a video where you um, start getting sidetracked what I was trying to say <clears throat> is that no matter what problems you have with the Chinese military um, it's kind of difficult to hate them all especially because they're so talented and if you like talented people, then um, you're going to like the Chinese military. I mean, it's just reality. Um, I mean, there are a lot more people to compete, and that's why there's this there's a stereotype of like Chinese people as like the smartest because if you're that good academically, like Andrew Yang's dad, to get out of that region, which he didn't come from China, he came from Taiwan, I know, but still, he's like the smartest there. And then he gets to come to the United States. Um, they tend to be, it's because they're coming out of such a huge pool of people. And so that, out of that huge pool of people also comes the Chinese military, which uh, a lot of the time tends to be the best. But um, the problem is, in a society like that, someone like me, who's not very good at tests, might not succeed as much. Um, and that's 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 actually the real problem with um, a lot of situations. Like uh, you have to be a super duper test person to be at the top of the government now, because it seems like everyone's from Harvard. Um, but sometimes the most impressive people aren't Harvard people. But um, sometimes you you want Harvard people there designing nuclear submarines and um, missiles and and and. Um, you know, thinking about very minute details of engin like engineering details. Anyway, so yeah, I know it's weird that I like the Chinese military so much, but I also just feel bad about the situation. Like I know I thought I thought it was, I thought the f the coronavirus was from the ocean, but apparently it's from rare wildlife. But yeah, sorry about misinformation for me.